Hey you guys, what's up? It's your girl Janet and welcome back to another mother bucket video. <laughs> um, hey you guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today, since you guys already know by the title, we are gonna be doing a really cute fall makeup look. And I am so excited, it's finally fall. It's literally my favorite season ever. I wish it could be fall every day. I just love fall. It makes me so happy, it makes my soul happy. You know, like pumpkins, pumpkin patches, candles. But um, yeah, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I did this really cute brown smoky eye. I personally love like brown smoky eyes. They're just so sexy to me. But um, yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this really cute smoky eye, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Hey, you guys, what's up? Welcome back. Let's go ahead and get started. Let me move my little hairs back. So um, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my favorite lip oil from LA Colors. I actually got this at the dollar store. And you guys, the smell just brings back like childhood memories like when i was little i remember i had this like roll roll on like lip gloss and it smelled identical to this one it is the strawberry flavor so it really just smells like it and i love it bomb first i want to go ahead and i am going to apply these um milk eye patches and i just love these because i love the way like it feels under my eyes like the cooling of it like i just love that so i am gonna go ahead and use these these are the cooling water eye patches and this is a chill out your tire under eyes with cooling deep puffing gel patches packed with caffeine and seawater and yeah i really love these i just love the way it makes my under eye feel and i think the packaging is so cute like look at that it literally says chill out period yes oh my god like as soon as i apply this like i just love the cooling feeling like you feel me <laughs> it's amazing you're supposed to leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes so i'm just gonna do that i'm probably gonna leave them on for 15 minutes just because like i said i really love the feeling okay so now i'm gonna move on to my eyebrows i have been doing my eyebrows completely different lately i feel like i'm always changing like my eyebrow routine i just like to try out new things you know so lately i have been doing the soap eyebrows and i have been using the pure sorrow soap and you can get this at the dollar store honestly you guys this is a bomb ass transparent soap and i just really like the way it makes my eyebrows like look you know but first i'm gonna go ahead and set my eyebrows with a translucent powder today i'm gonna use this selfie setting powder by joa 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 and it's by kiss i saw this on my cvs and i don't know like it just really caught my eyes so we're gonna be <laughs> jesus I haven't used this so we're gonna use that oh my god and i also went to the dollar store the other day and i came across um these lashes yo they have fucking lashes at the dollar store and honestly i am shook first of all i love the packaging like it's hella cute these ones are frida which look like that and these ones are amelia which look like that i am gonna go back to the dollar store and stock up on these because yo i feel like i just found my new favorite pair of lashes and they're from the dollar store like what anyways um yeah we're gonna be using one of those pairs today but anyways getting back to this makeup look you guys okay so like i was saying um i like to go ahead and i like to set my eyebrows before i go ahead and do them and i really like doing this technique because i hate being like oily on my t-zone area like it's just annoying so now we're gonna move on to the eyebrows and lately i have been really loving the soap eyebrows i think that's what they've been calling them i really like to use this pierce soap i'm just gonna like spray my my setting spray on it but i just like to like spray it i'm gonna go in with my brush and i just like to go in there like this um i like to go ahead and start by brushing them up especially like right here in the beginning of my eyebrow i like to like brush it up and then with the other end of the spoolie i like to just press them down like the tail of my eyebrow i'll just like brush the way it's going you know i really like like the inner part of my eyebrow to be like lifted feathery looking 
and then the eye the end of my eyebrow just go pew. you feel me i really have been loving these like feathery eyebrows you guys i really want to go get my eyebrows laminated i think that's what it's called where they like make your eyebrows like go up like they just set them to go up you know and i really want to do that because i absolutely love like when my eyebrows are like this rather than this you feel me because i just feel like it makes my eyebrow routine so much easier i love that that little it might look crazy to you guys right now but it's gonna be looking hella cute after I um so this is what they're looking like right now so after that, I like to go in with my brow pencil. And this is the L'Oreal Paris Brow Styling Definer. I got this at Target. And I like to use the shade, uh, I think it's Dark Brunette. Yep, Dark Brunette. So what I like to do with this, I just like to go ahead and lightly line underneath my eyebrow. I like to go ahead and just kind of like brush some little hair strokes up just on here so it fills it in. So then once I do that, I like to go ahead and like start right here from the arch of my eyebrow and then I'll draw in my tail. And then I'll just fill it in. Then I'll go back with my brush and then I'll just brush the end of my eyebrow. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now, now that my eyebrows are done, I am going to go ahead and move on to cleaning them. And I like to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer in the shade Medium Peach. I really like this one. I like to go ahead and clean the bottom of my eyebrow first. I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. And I also like to clean like the top of my eyebrow, but not all the way. I like to just start right here. So there you have it, eyebrows are done. So now I can move on to the eyes. Okay, so moving on to the eyes, I am gonna go ahead and prime my lids first. And I'm gonna use this Pretty Bulger Eye Primer. And I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger. Okay, moving on to eyeshadow. So I am gonna use this Cocoa Blend palette. The eyeshadows in here are freaking beautiful. I am gonna go ahead and start off by applying this color right here, which is called Substitute. Wait, what? Substitute for Love. And I'm just gonna apply that all over my crease. Okay, so now I'm just gonna move on to the darker brown, which is called Freshly Toast. Okay. And I'm just gonna go in with this packing brush and I'm just gonna pop that all over my lid. I'm gonna go in with this angle brush and I'm just gonna pop that on my lash line. Real close to the lash line.
Okay, so first I am gonna go ahead and apply some mascara on my top lashes. And this is the Lily Lashes XXX Mascara. I love this mascara. Oh shit. So now I'm moving on to lashes, but these are the lashes. I really hope you guys can see. They're hella cute. All right, I have to cut those down. I'm gonna go ahead and pop those on real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so moving on, I am gonna move on to my face. So I like to go ahead and start off by applying this NYX Hydra Touch Primer. I love this stuff because it really hydrates my face. And since right now I'm struggling with dry skin, it's this stuff just like really hydrates my skin, you know? So now I am going to move on to primer and the primer that I have been loving lately. It's the Pore Professional Primer. This is the Hydra Primer. Like it just really like evens out my skin texture. So I really love this stuff. Okay, so now moving on to foundation. Today I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. And this one is in the shade 305N. Okay, so now that I went ahead and I blended out my foundation, you guys, this foundation is looking hella bomb, huh? It like really covered up my acne. Okay, so now moving on to um, highlighting the face, I am gonna go back to my e.l.f. concealer. Moving on to setting powder. Um, I actually just like came across this. I've never used it before. It reminds me so much like the way it looks and stuff. It reminds me of the um, Laura Mercier translucent powder, like the texture of it. And like, just like the way it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and dip in my beauty blender. And... I'm looking a little cray cray, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and let that sit on my face for a little bit and then I'll go back with a brush and just kind of like dust it off my face. We'll see how this powder turns out. I'm gonna have a little snack or whatever. Mm. My son's the best, he just brought me a snack. Mm. I love you. I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with this Milani Shine Proof Powder in the shade Beige. So I'm just gonna dip my brush in here and set the rest of my face. Don't forget to bring it down to your neck. I'm gonna go back to the eyes and I'm just gonna smoke out my bottom lash line. I am gonna start off the same way I started at my top, um, on the top of my eye. I'm just gonna go in with a lighter color real quick. And I'm just gonna smoke out my bottom lash line with it. So now I'm gonna go in with a darker brown. With this really small Morphe brush. Doesn't have a name on it, so I don't know. But I'm just gonna smoke out the bottom of my eye. It's closest to the lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some brown eyeliner on my lash line. And then I am gonna go ahead and apply some mascara on my bottom lashes.
All right, so moving on to contour in the face. I like to use this Cover FX Perfector face palette. <laughs> My shit broke and I'm so sad. Okay, so moving on to blush, I am going to go ahead and use the Alamar Cosmetics Blush. I love this palette. And my favorite shade from the palette is called Seluxion, this beautiful peachy color. Okay, so I'm pretty much done. Actually, no, I'm not done. I almost forgot to go over my heart tattoo. I like to use this uh, big fat, big fat liner. It looks like this. Excuse me and it's in black and I just like to go over my heart tattoo and my little beauty mark right there I have another one down here as well as over here there you go I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face I like to use the Smashbox photo finish setting um, spray this is the weightless one Moving on to highlight, and today I'm gonna use this Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Luminoso. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with my favorite lip liner ever, which is the LA Girl Lip Pencil in Sugar and Spice. I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips with this. I am going to apply my favorite, my favorite liquid lipstick, which is the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in bow and arrow. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair real quick and then I'll be right back to show you guys the final makeup. All right, you guys, so this is it. This is the final look. Actually, no, it's not because I haven't applied my lip gloss. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lip gloss and this has been my current favorite lip gloss by Maybelline. It's the Lifter Gloss in the shade Stone. I love this lip gloss, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit. Um, this is it. This is the final look. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? If you do, don't forget to leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe down below and Also, let me know in the comments down below if you guys liked my last little mini vlog Because if you do I will definitely like film more of those and drop them You know for you guys because I personally love those type of vlogs like those aesthetic Type of vlogs, you know, they're so fun to edit so leave a like or comment down below if you guys want more of those type of vlogs. But with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for kicking in with me today. And all the products that I used in today's video, I will leave them down below in the description box as always. And um, yeah, thank you so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.